Las Vegas is the place to be with endless restaurants, flashy casinos and luxurious themed hotels. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Las Vegas. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. Vegas can be visited all year round, but we personally feel that the best time to visit is from March to May and September to November. The temperature isn't too high, there are less crowds, and there aren't as many events happening, meaning no hotel price hikes. December can be a great time if you want the cooler temperature and to see the Christmas displays, whilst the summer is hot and dry, so it is best to avoid this time if possible. So now let's look at getting there. Most visitors tend to fly into the international airport where you can be greeted by slot machines as you arrive. There are shuttle buses from the airport to some hotels, whilst a taxi rank outside of the airport lists the prices to each of the hotels on the strip and the surrounding areas. If you are traveling the US, you could also catch a Greyhound bus to Vegas from nearby tourist destinations like LA, or you could choose to drive to Vegas with journeys from LA taking just over four hours, journeys from San Diego taking around five hours and journeys from San Francisco taking around nine hours. So now let's look at getting around. There are a few ways to get around. Firstly, you can walk, but don't underestimate the distances between hotels. It is fine to walk from one hotel to another, but avoid walking up and down the whole strip. Instead, you could use the bus or monorail options available. The downtown loop is a great option for those heading off the Vegas Strip, or you can use taxis and Ubers here too. So now let's look at the typical prices. Vegas can be as expensive or as affordable as you want it to be. Dorm beds further off the strip begin at $25, whilst budget hotel rooms off the strip begin at $35. Mid-range hotel rooms can be found on the strip itself from $70, with some hotels like Excalibur and The Flamingo offering hotel rooms for as little as $30 when there are no events on and you book in advance. More luxurious options like the Venetian and Bellagio offer rooms for around $200 a night, but many of these rooms are considerably larger than other hotels on the Strip. As for food, this varies depending on location, but the general rule is that most places off the Strip will offer cheaper, better value meals. However, breakfast on the Strip begins at $10 per person, whilst brunch is available for many hotels from around $25 per person. Fast food options are available from 10, whilst dinner can cost anywhere between 20 to 200. So Vegas is surprisingly cheaper than you may think, especially if you know how to save. Firstly, look at the accommodation options and their location. There are several great budget hotels on the Strip that you can enjoy for very cheap prices, especially when visiting in the off season and avoiding event dates. We will leave some of our favorite budget hotels on the Strip in the description below. For food, you can take advantage of the all-you-can-eat buffets along the Strip, with some even offering an all-day pass, but also pick up snacks from the Walgreens near the Paris Hotel or eat at the chain restaurants that aren't inside the hotels. Take advantage of the free attractions like the Fountains of Bellagio, the Botanical Gardens inside the Bellagio and the Wildlife Habitat at the Flamingo. We have a whole blog post about the free things to do in Vegas over on our website Creative Travel Guide. We will leave the link in the description below. You can also enjoy free drinks served on the casino floor whilst you play. Fremont Street is considerably cheaper too, with reasonably priced hotel rooms, restaurant prices and drink deals available. So now let's look at the best things to do in Vegas. Vegas is full of fun things to see and do. Firstly, you need to explore the hotels. With their wonderful themes and grand decor, you won't be able to see it all. Head up the Eiffel Tower at the Paris Hotel, take a gondola at the Venetian and watch the fountains at the Bellagio. 
enjoy a sunset view from the high roller or enjoy a romantic meal in the revolving restaurant inside the Strat. Ride the roller coaster at the New York New York Hotel and then head down to Fremont Street for a cheaper fun night out. If you have a car or don't mind tour groups, you could head out to see the Grand Canyon and the Hoover Dam or go further afield to see Bryce Canyon. Red Rock Canyon is a little nearer, ideal for half day trips. Head to the Neon Museum to see all of the old signs of the city and catch a Cirque du Soleil show for a magical evening of acrobatics and dance. Watch this video to find out the 12 free things to do in Las Vegas. Then to find out 15 romantic things to do in Las Vegas, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.